After almost seven good months, I'm about to marry this girl. I'm so serious. I probably shouldn't have said that while she was listening. She's on FaceTime right now. Look at her looking like she can hear me. <laughs> Some people may say that's moving too fast. That's that's you're 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 rushing it. Honestly, if God ordained it, it's not. Now let me give you some advice about your relationship with God and with your partner. Guidance. This is how your relationship with God will lead you into a relationship with your You have to allow God to guide you into this. How do we do so? By staying true and walking on the path that God has made for you. Because your partner is on that path. The thing about that is when your partner is also walking in their ministry and you're walking in your ministry, it will benefit the both of you. Because when you meet, your ministries won't collide together and make it hard for y'all to be with each other, but they will connect and hers will complement yours and yours will complement hers and they will just connect. And that's how you know, hey, this is sent from God because everything is just falling so beautifully. But tip number two, do not allow your emotions to take the spot of God's voice. This is, I can't preach this enough. There are multiple voices that go on in your head. You have the enemy, you have God, and you also have yourself. We got a scenery change. I'm sorry, it's just the next day. <laughs> but like I was saying, you have God, you have the influence of the enemy, and you also have yourself. Remember, when you are in a relationship, you cannot allow your emotions to overtake you. You cannot allow that to happen. Because one thing that will happen from that is you will make the worst decisions possible. <laughs> Things like yelling and arguing with your partner. Remember, you do not have to argue in a relationship. Arguments is just two people speaking loudly at one another and not to one another. Remember, when you are in a disagreement, run to God. Pray before y'all even have the talk about the disagreement. Always pray before you have the talk. Always remember when you're having these talks with your partners, speak gently, but with truth, but gently. And then not only that, but when it's time for you to listen, you listen to understand not listen to have a response. Simply meaning, I'm not gonna listen to my partner just to say something back to them. No, I'm gonna listen to my partner so that I can understand how my partner feels. And if I need to make any adjustments, I will put my pride aside and say, okay, this is what my partner wants. I will make the adjustments. Because when you're in a serious, committed relationship, you have to understand you don't just live for yourself. You live for them as well because your actions have a very, very heavy impact on them. I think I walked into a spider web. But always remember that you live for God first. But when you're in a serious, committed relationship, you have to live and serve for them as well. Also, take your time. God will not rush anything because he has the perfect timing. Because there's no need for him to rush anything. Always remember that.